All right, guys, fun Friday time. Let's get into it. But before we go much further, you know what we're going to do. We're going to get right into the Word. So let's just check our scripture of the week this week, guys, one more time. It's in the book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 45. So Mark 10, 45 says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So many important lessons right there from a leadership standpoint, fellas, to unpack. Go back and listen to the spiritual kickoff if you didn't have a chance to yet already, because we really went through that verse in depth. But at the end of of the day, it all comes down to serving others. You know, God told us, you know, love God, love others. You love others by serving them, fellas. That is what it's all about. Getting down on your hands and feet. Sometimes you got to wash some feet, fellas. That's just it. You just got to get down and do the dirty work. But if we do that to serve and we lead with serving and we love others, guys, there's just going to be so much. It's just going to be an opportunity to point people to the good news of the gospel just by our actions. So I really hope you take the time to consider what does serving look like? How can you selflessly start that serving today to make that impact? Now, if you missed the conversation also that we had on Wednesday for our last episode, we had the Honorable Ron Simmons with us and really enjoy meeting him. Yeah, and I heard him on the Unashamed podcast with his de- with his daughter, uh, Allie Beth Stuckey. They had a really good conversation. I think a day or two after I heard him talk, uh, that they actually his people had reached out were talking about his new book, you know, the life lessons from the little red wagon. Again, that's why we had this red wagon up here this week for this for these episodes, guys. So I uh, really hope you enjoy that conversation with Ron. And you can maybe maybe you type your type of guy thinks, well, yeah, Chris, you interview all these guys, they're absolutely crushing it. Like, how can we relate to that? Well, guys, that's why I went in this conversation with him. I, I asked him to go back to his origin story because he had two parents who taught. They were school teachers. That was it. And then they got divorced when he was 16. Well, 17 years old, he was on his own, on his own, renting $75 a month and for a garage apartment. And from there, little steps of obedience, little steps, not huge leaps and bounds, but little steps of obedience. It opened up doors and opportunities for him. And I think stories like that, guys, that's what this country is all about. That's what being a, a leader is all about. That's what being obedient to God's all about. And, and he just kept, he keeps, he was reminding us over and over and over about the decisions that we make, not just from the good and the bad, but from the good and the better, making the distinction between those, having a clear vision and staying locked in on that vision and how sometimes in the, and let's just face it in life, it, the analogy he uses is a little red wagon. Sometimes you're pulling that wagon. Sometimes you're pushing it. And sometimes you need to sit down in it and let someone else guide and direct you. And it's in those moments where he talked about learning and resting and had taking opportunities to learn and rest while others, while you trust others to, to pull the wagon along. And so, guys, you don't always have to be out front. That can be exhausting if you're always out front all the time and you never let anyone else take the lead. It also is limiting because you can only lead as far as you know. So what if you, what are you missing by the opportunity to learn from others, from a mentor, or from someone who can, who's, who's been your been down path that you haven't been down before to help you grow? I'm telling you, if this is a big opportunity here for us, guys, don't feel like you always have to be the man pulling the wagon. Just if you take nothing else from this week, I want you to know that you don't always have to be that man pulling a wagon. Sometimes it's, it's OK to get in. Sometimes you need to push. But wherever you are in that season of life, just embrace it. And right now, if you're in a season of, you know what, I just need to sit down and, and learn and rest. Take that. Take that time. Be obedient to it and then see how God blesses it. All right, fellas, let's get into our tips of the week. We know for our fun Friday episodes, we're going to do a health, wealth, and a self tip, a self tip. Again, health is all about mind and body. Wealth is career and finances. Self being better husbands and better dads, okay? So now for your health tip this week, I want you to think about this. Don't let a high moment be a stumbling block. Say it one more time. Don't let a high moment in life be a stumbling block. So you never want to get too high on the praise of others, okay? Proverbs 27, 21. It was, it was again, we, we read a proverb a day at the line with us. This is what we're all about, uh, about doing that together to help us grow. But 27, 21 is very interesting. It says, the crucible is for silver and the furnace for gold, and each is tested by the praise accorded him. Now, 
we don't have time to um, really unpack that that proverb at 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 depth and or at length rather. But this is a very important thing for us to understand. You know what? God's going to test us. We're going to have these. Not God's going to test us. We're going to have tests in life, guys. And he's going that that are going to come our way. We need to understand that. You know what? When things go really well, when things go really well, we need to understand that even though that's great, it's temporary. It's temporary because just around the next corner is most likely a hurdle. Okay, but you don't need to put your definition of who you are in the in the winds of life. That's not it. Do we? Do I want you to win, absolutely, absolutely. But the greatest win, fellas, is having a relationship with Christ. That's it. Because it's so easy. Well, we can we can be riding these highs, and then when something bad happens, we just we hit this depression, or we hit this anger, or whatever it may be, and we're just like you know the high is great and the low is terrible. So never get too high on the highs, but never get too low on the lows either. Because when others are praising you, fellas, it's so easy to get built up, built up, built up. Look at me, look at me, look at me, and lose focus so uh, so quickly on whose we are. Right. So anytime that 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 focus comes off of Christ and it flips around and it's a mirror and we put it on ourselves, you have to be careful. And this proverb is talking about it because when you start the crucible for silver, the furnace for gold. It's talking about testing the impurities and getting the impurities out and really seeing what that what what that what those minerals are all about. I will tell you right here, guys, you're gonna find out what you're all about on how you respond to the victories. And Ron even talked about that, the victories in life versus the losses, and how you respond to those. It's so important, guys. Because you know what? You may think was well, easy to be a winner. No, it's actually incredibly hard to be both, to win and lose, and to do it the way God's called us to do. So I want you to just think about that from a mental standpoint. Just don't let those high moments be a stumbling block in the future. Now, for your well tip, this is a very practical one. I can't remember if I've done this one in the past or not, but this just came up recently as something I was thinking about. There are, there are ways you could do auto increasements into your investments on an annual basis. I, I haven't seen any that actually do anything other than annually. Maybe there are, but this is a great way to make some incremental adjustments without having to think about it. You just build it into the process. You build it into the system, okay? And from there, you can adjust your budget because as that that little bump goes up, it's not like taking a, you know, maybe you bump it up a half percent or 1% every year. Well, 1% bump in your investment, it's not going to be a huge impact to your budget. Will it be an impact? Yes, it will, but it's not going to make a huge impact. So you'll be able to adjust your budget directly. And then what this does it builds in the mindset in your forward and, and in your in your investment strategy to always be looking forward and to always be growing. And that's what it's all about. Because it's so easy to just get caught in a rat race and a rat race and a rat race. Next thing you know, five years have gone by and you haven't changed any of your investment strategy. But if you built this in automatically, you're gonna get caught up in life. Things are gonna happen, but you never you know what? As you go and as your income increases, so will your your investment allocation amount, okay? So look at those auto increase options. Most companies have those that are free. They're very simple. Sometimes you have to click a button, but go check and see how that what if that's turned on right now. And if it's not, consider making that adjustment. Now, maybe you want to make it small. I wouldn't go 5% or anything like that, but go a percent or half a percent and just set that out there. That way you'll know in the back of your mind, you're being intentional about it being a good steward of your finances and thinking about the future. All right. Now for a self tip, I thought this was a really cool tip. This came from one of our brothers in our community named Adam, Adam rushing. Just one of our, our great members of the community, always doing wonderful things to support the line within us. Love him, love his family, all the things he's doing. He brought this up in one, I believe it was a Bible study or one of our, just one of our events. Again, we have events every, every all every pretty much every day of the week, guys. But he saw, he heard someone who had got a stethoscope, and they listened to their child, child's heartbeat. Now we do this when a lot of times during pregnancy, right? You can get those little heart monitor things. You can listen to your wife. Boop, 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 boop. I did this with all our children. I think it's really cool. But then the day after they're born, we don't do that anymore. Why? Well, we can see them for one. <laughs> Right, they're, they're they're with us. They're crying. They're pooping. Whatever. As they grow up, it's just a different type of crying poop. Well, you guys know what I'm talking about. But it can be a sweet moment to connect with your child and to remind them 
of that Psalm 139, that they're fearfully and wonderfully made, right? You can, you can have that moment. And then if for you as a father, you'll be able to hear their heartbeat. I just think there's something beautiful about that. So maybe that should be a good uh, self tip for you. Just go get a, go. I'm pretty sure you can get these things relatively cheap. Go get you a, a stethoscope and listen to them. Just listen to them. Let them hear their own heartbeat. Because that miracle of life, guys, we just don't want to, don't want to downplay that. Don't want to miss that for a second. Okay. So just uh, have, have some fun with that. But let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback on, on if you did this particular tip. What that did for you was it was that uh, a moment for you and your spouse or how what the connection was with your kid was it laughing like just I, I'd love to know your feedback from that okay so your health wealth and self tip guys that health tip is don't let that high moment be a stomach block please 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 your wealth tip look for those auto increase options to your investments and a self tip get that stethoscope and listen to your child's heartbeat okay now the book of the week this week no surprise here guys. Right here in my hands, Life Lessons from the Little Red Wagon, 15 Ways to Take Charge and Create a Path to Success by Ron Simmons with Don Yeager. And the four was written by John Maxwell. Guys, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I know I say that every week on the books I read, but this one right here, I I think I read this in about three sittings, just sat down from from cover to cover. It was very, the the word he mentioned was transparency, that that transparency that, 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 was was inside this book. I was not expecting, to be honest. I was really expecting. I'm not sure what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting that where he was really so open and honest about the hurdles, about the setbacks, about the, the trials of his life, because that's where we learn. You know, just to hear about people talk about how awesome they are and all the, the, the things they've accomplished. Who wants to read that? That is not what you're going to get here. You're going to see some real truths here around lessons he's learned, hard decisions, hard, hard decisions he had to make. But how he made those, he trusted. He, he he was always faithful to God and what God called him to do. And ultimately, how God had blessed him through the journey. And obviously, we want to keep praying for him. Him and his wife are going through some cancer and some treatments and things like that. They're on a good path, but we still want to keep them lifted in prayer, okay? So, fellas, as we, as we move forward, let's get to our dad jokes, okay? So, dad joke number one. I always love the dad jokes. I, I I get a lot of feedback from you guys too. I think you guys like them as well. So let me know about this these dad jokes. Number one, I grilled a chicken for two hours. It still wouldn't tell me why I crossed the road. <laughs> so there you go. I know it's so corny, guys, but it's okay. I grilled a chicken for two hours. It still wouldn't tell me why I crossed the road. Number two, to the person who stole my place in the queue, I'm after you. <laughs> <laughs> number two, to the person who stole my place in the queue, I'm after you. So let me know which one hits best. Number one or number two. Remember, eye rolls count is totally fine, fellas. So I grilled a chicken for two hours and still wouldn't tell me why it crossed the road. Or to the person who stole my place in the queue, I'm after you now. So there you go, fellas. Let us know which one lands best. Gets that chuckle. Gets that eye roll. It's all good. It's about helping you be the dad that, God, that God's called you to be and use that sense of humor, fellas, okay? And the question of the week this week, how is how can you selflessly serve others to grow as a leader? That's what it's all about. I really pray just through these conversations, through the things that we, that we talk about at the line within us week in and week out, it's about serving others and not having to focus on you. If you can just take that spotlight, turn it around, flip it off of you, point it on others, serve others with a heart of gratitude, like Ron talked about. Unleash the line within us. It's not the line within you. It's definitely not the line within Chris. It's within us to help others understand the good news of the gospel. That's what it's all about. Okay. So I'd encourage you to go over to the, to our website, the line within us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this conversation. You know, share it with others on our website. You have all our resources and things like that. Maybe you want to get a shirt like I'm wearing right here. We have hats. We have never retreat my hats. We have, uh, I will never retreat shirts, rather, when we have our black line within us hats. We have lots of ways we like to serve, guys. If you would consider being a donor, a supporter for, for us, we have lots of monthly donors. We would love for you to come alongside us and help us. We would definitely uh, look for opportunities to take that, to use that to help serve other men who are trying to grow to be the leaders God intends them to be. We have our community that, that, that that's happening. We have our, our daily spiritual kickoff group within our side of our community. But then ultimately, fellas, we have our summit leadership development. Where we're really digging deep and we're helping these leaders continue to grow day in and day out. So we'll love to see you back here next week. We're looking forward to prayerfully good Lord willing to being here, sharing with you, with you more encouragement, more, more 
ways that you can be the leader God intends you to be, fellas. So thank you so much for all the support. If you need anything, again, the linewithin.us is how you connect with us or Chris at the linewithin.us. You can connect with me directly there. All right. So get after it today, guys. Have a great one. Have a great weekend. And remember, keep unleashing the lion with them. Are you enjoying the weekly spiritual kickoff? If so, we are now offering a way to participate in our live daily spiritual kickoffs that happen Monday through Friday in our community. This is your chance to chat with me directly and other members of our community to dive into scripture and to leave with practical ways to simplify and apply God's word to your daily walk. And here's the best part. You get all of this for just $5 a month. So for what most people pay for a breakfast meal, you can join us on this journey of spiritual growth and leadership, which will always lead you full. Our community is dedicated to supporting each other and pushing forward in our faith. Come join me in the lion's den and become the leader God intends you to be. Sign up now at thelionwithin.us and let's start this journey together. Remember, it's only $5 a month for this amazing opportunity. So visit thelionwithin.us so you don't miss out. Thank <laughs> you.